In this video, I will be showing you how to import data into a table through the use of MySQL Workbench. When you have MySQL Workbench open, select a database that you would like to import some data into. In this case, I have a database NS underscore nickel that has a few tables in it. Now, I would like to bring data into the student table. I have some sample data that I have created. That sample data looks like the following. It's a CSV file with the name of the file named data.csv where I have some header columns, student ID, first name, last name, student GPA and major. And I have data that's separated by commas that correspond to each of these columns. I would like to import the data that's actually present in this in this file into the student table present right here. To do that, the first thing I can do is select star from student, get the current contents of the student table in here. I can see that there are already three rows present in the student table with student ID, first name, last name, student GPA, and major. And those correspond to the column headers in this data file. To import data into an already existing file, one can click on this button right here, where my mouse cursor is. Under export import on the right hand side is the import button, import records from an external file. Please click on that and one will see a file path. Please navigate to where your data file is. In this case, it's already navigated to data.csv. Click on next. It's going to ask whether you want to create a new table using that data or use an existing table. Now, if you don't already have a table, you might actually want to take your data and make a new table. In this case, we already have a table called student into which we want to import this data. So I'm going to use an existing table and the name of the table is ns underscore nickel dot student. So the student table in the nickel ns underscore nickel database. If I didn't have this table, I would be able to create a new table using that data. So I'm going to use the existing table. Click on the next button. It's going to identify the source column and identify the destination column. And because I've named them the way I have, they kind of correspond up well and it shows you what it's going to do. It's going to add these rows. Well, before we click on next, let's notice some options. In this case, if our field separator was not a semicolon or a comma, we can change our field separator, how our columns are in our data are split up. Uh, we can identify if our strings are enclosed by codes or not and if you have a line separator or not. I click on next. It says it's going to prepare the import and import the data file. I'm going to click on next. And then it's finished. I, if I click on show logs, I'll see that one, two, three, four, five. There are five data imports that have taken place. And so there were five lines in the file. And so I, have, I should have my data imported. It tells me five records imported. I'm going to click on finish. Let me run select star from student once again. And I will notice that the five lines that I have just imported show up in my data. This is how we would import data into a table. One can also click on the table and click on table data import wizard or table data export wizard if one wants to import or export data from the table. This is another way to come to the same process. If the table doesn't already exist, you can right click on the database and do a table data import wizard there um, and subsequently create a new table. Thank you for listening. Please let me know if you have any questions.